What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. Today I'm going to be bringing you through another episode in the Kayak Fishing for Beginners series before I head out to the IFA tournament and start filming this whole weekend down in Port Aransas. But today I'm going to be taking you through a question that I get literally every single day and I get all the time. It's one of the most asked questions. And it's, where is this spot located? Point me to a spot. Where is this marsh? Uh, you know, that's the question that I'm going to be answering today. So the first thing I want to say is, you know, a lot of you are beginners to kayak fishing and it's kind of an unwritten rule in kayak fishing and in, you know, fishing in general is you don't ask other people for their spots. Uh, it's not something that you're supposed to do. It's frowned upon in the industry. And I'm not, you know, secretive about some of the spots that I filmed at mostly. You know, Moses Lake, all of you guys know that I film there pretty regularly. Uh, I film out of Louis Bait Camp pretty regularly. You know, those areas I'm okay with because a lot of people know of those areas and I'll always tell you about those spots because I film there and I've been pretty successful there. But what people don't understand, and I think you guys need to understand when you're getting into fishing and kayak fishing, is it's not about the spot. It's about the conditions and the conditions drive where the fish are going to be. Because I can go to a spot one day, and then the next day go to that exact same spot, and the fish won't be there at all. So I don't like pointing people to spots, because if I point them to a spot, and they don't catch fish on that spot, it looks bad on me. It's not about the spots. It's about the conditions and where the fish go based upon these conditions. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So it's a question that I probably won't answer very much so, and if you do ask a question about where's this spot, I'll probably say, well, these were the conditions. And I'll always give you the conditions that I'm fishing. And if I'm successful in certain conditions, in a certain kind of fishing style, I will always tell you that those conditions and that fishing style. That way, you can go out in those conditions and find a spot that's similar and be successful in the water. So I want you guys to be successful in the water, but it's not always about the spot. That's what I'm trying to emphasize with the start of this video. But going further into this video, I'm going to show you how I find the spots that I fish at. So how do I find my spots? It all starts with this. This is a hook in line boat fishing map. They actually make kayak ones as well. This is $10. This one is the hook in line bay fishing map for the Galveston Bay, Trinity Bay, East Bay, West Bay, Clear Lake, Dickinson Bay, Moses Lake, San Luis Pass, Christmas Bay, and Chocolate Bay. So you're getting a ton of information in this, and it's $10. All right, so now I'm going to kind of zoom in and kind of show y'all the way I look at this map to find the spots that I want to fish at. All right, so here's a quick overview of the hook and line map and what you're getting out of this thing. So it gives you all these different boat launches that you can use. Uh, gives you kind of notes and where you can bank fish, where you can park, uh, storage, uh, where you can get, you know, fishing licenses, motel rooms, you know, gives you all sorts of information all in one map. Uh, gives you all these fishing spots uh, and latitude and longitude locations. It gives you fishing index, so it's going to mark out spots for you and it's going to tell you what time of year the fish are best biting at. At these spots and it has 81 different spots that you, that they can choose from it tells you which fish are hitting and the best months for those fish at these spots and the way you can fish uh, to catch these fish at these spots it gives you things like wade fishing it tells you where you can rate wade fish it shows you reefs it shows you where you should drift looking for feeding birds shell bars um, you know whole wade fishing lines it shows you uh, points, it shows you marshes, you know, these are the type of things that are really just invaluable to fishermen. It shows you all sorts of reefs, uh, channels, um, points, and of course I'm going to just zoom in and kind of show y'all one of my favorite spots, Moses Lake. So as you can see here, it's got a channel that runs through that floodgate and along Moses Lake. That's a pretty solid spot. It's got a bunch of spoil mounds. Uh, it's got deep holes. It's got some marshlands down here. Uh, and, you know, it shows you, you know, different spots that you can go to to fish. Um, also, kind of looking for my uh, launch points here. So I know there's a marina 
down here and I know I can launch up here by the floodgate itself. Um, so that's kind of what Moses Lake looks like on this map. And there's just so many other spots that you guys can find with this map. So this is the first step, is look at this thing and try to find a new spot to fish. It's super invaluable and it's only like 10 bucks, so I think um, it definitely is worth it uh, to get. Now I'm gonna go on to the next step of the process, which is Google Earth. All right, so now that I've shown you the map and how I pick my spots, and, and how I find my launch points, I'm gonna show you the next step in the process, which is Google Earth. Google Earth is something that I always use before I go out to a spot. I wanna get a lay of the land. I wanna get a feel for exactly where everything is and how it looks before I get out there. That way I know where I'm going, I can correspond those points to the points on the map that I found, and I know what the water looks like, I know what the structure looks like around, you know, I know what the marsh looks like if I'm choosing a marsh. So the next step is definitely Google Earth, get a lay of the land. I'm gonna zoom in on a spot that I use quite a bit, and that's Moses Lake. So I'm gonna zoom in and kind of just, hopefully I'll kind of zoom in on the video and show you kind of what I'm looking at over Moses Lake. All right, so here's my zoomed in picture of Moses Lake. So this is what I'm looking at when I look at Google Earth. So now I've looked at it on the hook and line map, now I'm gonna look at it on Google Earth so I can get a lay of the land. I know where my launch points are. They're at this south marina, the marina here, fish spot, uh, on the south side of Moses Lake, and then I know that there's a launch point right up here by the uh, floodgate. So that would I'd get to by driving down Skyline Drive. And you could get to this one, you know, just type it into your phone, you can get to this one. So these are my launch points. Um, so I know where I'm gonna launch. Now I wanna know what kind of water do I wanna explore. So up here, if I wanted to fish the floodgate, uh, if the current's correct and I, I like the way the current's moving, then I'll launch up here at the floodgate and fish this current area. And maybe I'll work my way along this shoreline. There's some deep poles along this shoreline that could hold fish, especially in the winter months, uh, hold some good fish. So I break it down like, all right, I'm gonna launch here, I'm gonna start fishing the floodgate because the current looks good, and then I'm gonna move along this shoreline if I'm not successful and try to hit these deep holes. Uh, this whole shoreline's breeded, so it holds pretty good fish. I've seen black drum tailing here, I've seen redfish tailing here. Uh, it's a pretty solid spot, the trout will hold into the deep holes. So it's a, it's a pretty good spot, and I know that based on experience and being out there. But I also, it looks pretty good just by being on Google Earth. I can see you've got some clean water in here, um, and I'm kind of breaking down what I see. So this is kind of one trip that I'll make, maybe. Um, and then maybe I want to launch here, and because you know, I look at this and I'm going, hmm, that looks like a really good area to fish. This is detail that you don't get on the hook and line map, but now that I'm looking at it on Google Earth, I can say, hey, this is really good channels and then some pretty good marshy area. So maybe I want to launch here and I want to work this shoreline and maybe explore this area towards the middle of the day before I start heading back. Um, so this is something that I don't get on the hook and line map, but now that I'm looking on Google Earth, I want to explore this area. Uh, so maybe I want to explore up here too. So it depends on how far you want to paddle, but I look at Google Earth to start breaking down the water before I make my trip and plan what I want to do for my trip. And if, let's say the wind is blowing this direction, then I might not want to launch here. I might want to launch here because you want to paddle into the wind and then blow home. So if the wind's blowing this way, I might want to fish this side of Moses Lake. That way I paddle over here, I can fish this whole area, there's some good marsh back in this area, and then the wind's going to blow me back to my launch point. If the wind's coming the opposite direction, then maybe I want to launch here, fish this area, and then blow home. That's kind of how I'm going to break down the water here now. And if it's a, if it's a crosswind, um, then you can just pretty much launch wherever you want and head this way or this way or you know That's just the beginning of breaking down the water So this was the next step in the process is looking at my spots on Google Earth Now the last step in the process is the most fun step and that's going out and exploring the water and trying to catch some fish there Go out to your spot and fish. That's the next step in the process. And every time you go to that spot, you're going to learn more and more about the water, what the fish like in that water, what the conditions need to be to catch fish. And you start building on every experience every time you're out on the water till you learn that water and you can go out there and catch fish every single time you're out there. Uh, it's not something that's going to happen right away. You're not, it's, it's impossible to just go out and be successful immediately. 
uh, you're not, it just doesn't happen in fishing. So you've got to be patient. Patience is key when you're trying to learn a new spot and when you're trying to grow in a fishing sport. It's not going to happen overnight, so just keep at it is all I can say. And you wouldn't believe how rewarding it is to find a spot yourself using these methods, going out to this spot, maybe not being successful right away, but slowly building up and becoming very successful on the water on a spot that you found that nobody had to tell you about. It, it really is rewarding. So that's what I'm trying to teach you here is don't just ask for spots, maybe ask for areas, ask for conditions. You know, what are the fish doing right now? Where do they want to be? Are they on transition zones? Are they up on shorelines? Are they on the flats? Are they holding to grass? Uh, you know, are they liking wind? Are they liking it to be calm? Do they like it to be sunny? Are they biting better when it's cloudy? You know, those type of things. What's the water clarity like? I will answer all those questions and that way you can find a place that you know of that has these same conditions and go out and be successful. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, so like I said, stick at it, uh, keep going, find a spot and it's very rewarding once you find that spot, being successful at that spot. So guys, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you break down the water better. I hope this helps you find new spots and go out and explore because that's the best part about kayak fishing is being able to get on the water, being one with the water, and exploring new areas and territories and hopefully catching some good fish along the way. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That would be much appreciated. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. A lot of awesome fishing content is coming your way pretty soon. If you have any further questions, comment them below or email me at redhuntertx at gmail.com. And I will see you guys next week.